Wow. <laughs> In 1968, Robert F. Kennedy was addressing his supporters in the Embassy Room Ballroom of his Los Angeles hotel. Shortly after midnight, a man by the name of Sirhan Sirhan shot and killed him. Kennedy was pronounced dead at 1.44 a.m. This assassination became known as one of the traumas of 1968. All right, am I good? Yeah, you're good. So we have the top security guard in the nation here, Mr. Tommy Smith. And uh, he's actually a history enthusiast, and today we'll be interviewing him about Robert Kennedy's assassination. Do you know anything about it? Yes, I do. Uh, the assassination happened in 1968 at the Democratic Convention uh, in Los Angeles, California. Of course, uh, many people obviously know that he was a brother of John F. Kennedy, who was assassinated earlier in the decade. Um, bad time in the U.S. really for assassinations. Uh, a man by the name of Sirhan Sirhan did the assassination. Uh, very dark time in U.S. Uh, history right there. Uh, that's all I can say about that. Very, very dark time and thank God that we turned the corner on it. Uh, do you know any motives for why he would have been assassinated? Uh, there's a lot of things there. Uh, politically motivated uh, right there. You gotta remember uh, we're getting getting ready for a war was almost on the horizon. Vietnam was starting yeah. to stir up. Uh, yeah. So there was some, a lot of politics involved, unfortunately, there. Uh, but really, to this day, really, there really wasn't a clear motive on what it was. All right. Uh, that's Tommy Smith. And this is BB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Pop-Tart. We all know and love it. Created in Cleveland, Ohio in 1964. This sugary goodness released in strawberry, cookies and cream, chocolate, and all sorts of assorted flavors. Mmm, I love Pop-Tarts. Do you guys think you can make a drink with this Pop-Tart? Absolutely, yeah. Perfect. Can you, you can take it from me if you want. Oh, okay. Hang on. <laughs> Let's see the process. Can I come behind the scenes? Yeah. Shake for us out of our pop tart that we are advertising for pole press. And so we would ask you to take the first sip of the pop tart milkshake. Uh, someone's gonna take a sip after me? I don't know. If you like it, then we just wanna see your first opinions of the first ever created pop tart milkshake ever in the entire world. This is the most excited I've been since the end of the end of the pandemic. Can I get a little There's an actual pop tart in here. <laughs> oh, that's a wow! But it's like nothing I've ever had before. So it might be bussing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, welcome back to Pull TV. Today we will be discussing some breaking news regarding Martin Luther King Jr. Devastation and heartbreak spreads throughout America as the discovery of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination has been learned. Martin Luther King and his American Baptist minister, activist, and leader of the civil rights movement. King had traveled to Memphis, Tennessee to lend support to striking black sanitation workers in the city. On April 4th, 
King was standing on the balcony of his second floor room at the Loran Motel where he was shot and killed. No information has led prosecutors to speculate James Earl Ray as a potential suspect. At this time, the motive is believed to be racial hatred, but is unsure. Evidence could suggest that James Earl Ray was hired by an outside employer to do this. Thank you, Marley Massey. Now, here is local skim legend Ryan Hall to show off his skills in Vero Beach, Florida.